there's your statement of revenue expenditures and changes. And if I could direct your attention to page 16, the first column, the third number from the bottom. Here are your net changes and fund balances for your general fund. So you had an increase of $331,004 from the previous year. That was your beginning fund balance. The $3,337,514 and your ending fund balance, $3,668,518. So that was your increase in total for your general fund. You had about 40% ending equity for your unrestricted funds. 25% is considered good and you're sitting at 40%. Okay. Your purchase is easy. Now, if I say in the program, does that mean you've gotten two tomorrow? That would be yesterday. If you would go to page 38. Specifically, this is the statement of revenue and expenditures and changes in fund balances for your revenue for the four years. And again, we can direct your attention to the third from the bottom number that will show your net changes in fund balances. The last column is the total. And you see you ended with a little bit less than you started for at the beginning of the year, but you had $228,580 increase for capital leases this year. And I believe there was a roller and... Motor? Motor, is that it? And jet fuel tractor. So that's for the three-point stamp. On to page 51 and 52. This is your combined statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balances for your non-major governmental funds. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventh column is courthouse security. And on page 51 again, the number from the bottom. Third from the bottom is your net changes in fund balances because the transfer in them from your general fund. And then back. I'm going to take you back to page 40. I know during our exit we talked a little bit about changes in your long-term liabilities. The bottom of page 40. With your beginning balances, the general obligation balance, and what you have due within a year and after your capital lease addition, the $228,580 is what showed up back in the road and bridge. With the increase. That's a road and bridge number? That $228,000, yes, sir, in the capital lease addition. So that is pretty much the highlight of the audit report itself. Page 46. I 
I guess the first, uh, the first number there, what the actually the first two the liability and what the unfunded liability is. Uh, is that based on the numbers that the District of County Retirement System supplies? By that I mean you haven't looked to see if they're using the right multipliers or if they're being pessimistic or optimistic. They're just looking and seeing how much they say uh, that we all know of. Ray, my quick um, this stuff here an actuary, and right, the actuary does all this. Um, what they're, what this is the same. What they think that the county will actually pay out after everybody retires, and uh, based on the actuary. Right, everything we get that straight. That's just a straight okay. thing from from you. Okay. And what we usually found out, I think, is that. Most of the county employees retire, I mean, don't retire. They leave long before retirement. So it shows that there's a balance that we kind of owe, but again, probably that's not the case. Yeah, the problem is that once they have their eight years, they don't have to take out their, uh, you know, what they've invested. So right. that can sit there forever and ever. Uh, you know, it, there's a lot of things in there. <coughs> yeah, that's strictly there's a we don't end with anything. We get this strictly. Okay. That's just mm -hmm. and then the accompanying letter. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. That uh, right inside your front door. There are no significant deficiencies. There are no material weaknesses. This is a management letter with findings, payroll, finding number one, and maybe the precinct number two, precinct number four, health and, safe, health and public safety, and EMA are not using the new timesheets. And the recommendation is that they use the new timesheets. Finding number two, we noted that one employee had negative compensation vacation hours on September 30th, or as of September 30th, 2011. And the recommendation was simply that employees not be allowed to have negative compensation and or vacation hours. In the Sheriff's Department, finding one, we noted that no bank reconciliation cash bond, the share of fines and fees, or inmate trust fund account. And again, that recommendation is simply to have that recommendation. And finding number two, we noted that physicians were being paid for medical care out of the inmate trust fund account for inmates without impulse. And we simply recommended that no bill be paid for that all the bills, all the receipts, or attached in the checkbook. And the registration <coughs> all stapled it back. In the checkbook? In the checkbook. I would certainly take that note back. Okay. Uh, we emailed them. We made copies. Oh, you mailed them? We okay. made copies of all the receipts. Oh, great. And they should have been emailed to your office, right? Yeah, Ashley got them. That possibly could be, but I can't. Okay. Well, they were all, I mean, right. all back to the office and look, and all the receipts. Okay. Right. I'll make a note if that's how we do it.